All right, so this is an informal watch with me, with Kevin and me watching this exhibition fight between Wang Chinoy and Surat Hor Pong Sawang in Surin on February 18th, 2024. Wow, that's very technical. <laughs> so a big part of this is what he told you before this fight, which is that this guy is a uh, former police boxer, mm -hmm. and that he had heard that this fight was... He was going to make it real. Yeah, he's like, I, I'm bracing myself because I don't know whether he's going to make it real or not. And he sent me some of his training and I was like, well, if he makes it real, you can give it back real because he looked amazing in his training. But to me, Wan Chinoy is actually a very scary fighter. And uh, the idea of making it real, even at 57 years old, is something I find intimidating. <laughs> what did he see? He, he said, a tiger never loses his stripes. Yes. Yep. So that's Wang Chinoy in the black shorts, if people don't know him. Oh, see, oh, I love this. The way these. he closes space. That little, he like does this running right hand, stepping left. And there he does it again. And angles off. Like you can't oh, get him back. It's so, I mean, you'd have to know to fucking get him. What's amazing to me is that part of what Wang Chinoy has taught me in his many sessions in the Muay Thai library is how you use this pressure against your opponent. You pressure them in order to land your strikes. He can create pressure at a pretty good distance. Like, he's not actually fully in striking range, and he's already pressuring his opponent. Well, I, with those little dart-ins, I think he's... Uh, he... He's not being super aggressive here, right? No. And his opponent is being very defensive. He's just, like, holding his guard. One thing I like about this fight is that it actually shows evolution, narrative evolution in the classic style of Muay Thai. Even within three rounds, Even within, Even within three rounds. It's like a beautiful little story being told. Oof. What was the little kick? Bong Chinoy kicked and his opponent just disappeared out the side. <laughs> Beautiful teeth. <laughs> uh, like he's milling his hands like totally. he used to do. Totally. He's milling his hands. He even puts them down to kind of bait sometimes. Yeah. See how low they are right there? They're like banging each other with low kicks. Which at this age, when you're not training, low kicks can really hurt. For like sure. your you're shins not are not. Anymore. Although sometimes, oh. Uh, Sometimes with older fighters, they have like iron bones. Yeah. Look at him just pressure like him into the corner. Like. You mean like in his creeping forward? Yeah, like the dude is backing up even when Wang Chinoy is not coming in with weapons. Like he's just coming in with oh. his intimidating presence. He's not coming in with weapons. It's when he closes really fast with that right. Yeah. I think he just threw a nice little left there, a little hook. There's that running right again. Oh, yeah. and he tried to get um, counter him. Was like he's starting to read uh, Sirach, isn't that his name? Sirach. Is um, reading that little running right. So here we go to the corner in between. And where was this? It was near the Sirin. This is Sirin. Up, in, up in Sirin. And uh, the man in the white shorts who's cornering for him, you can see in the Muay Thai library in the Chai Yai and Cherry sessions. He held pads for those two sessions. But I just, I left some of this in because he's so calm in the corner. <laughs> he's just, he's not gassed. Like, he's not yeah. uh, exerting himself incredibly. I didn't go punch his corner like he's just done this so many times. What did he do? He punched the pad? He just went and like punched his corner. Normally he would go like wider corner or something uh, uh, between rounds, but it's just this kind of like, again, a tiger doesn't change its stripes. It's like he has so much fight experience that he just does these things that are fight motions. Like throw away fighting. Yeah. Stand in there. Now he's starting to stand in a little bit. Oh, now it, I, you saw pressure in the oh, there's that right hand. And he's starting to parry the teeth, which he didn't do in round yeah. he's, so You saw him pressuring in the first round, I couldn't even see it. Oh, but now he's starting to like crowd. Oh, Ends with a low kick. Really low, like to the ankle. Oh. I think he just lost his balance on him. That was that elbow that let, he, let him know that this is for real. That was a right elbow, and he lost his balance trying to dodge out of the way. And now he's elbowing back. And now he's elbowing back. 
and getting elbows back. Like that was the moment where the fight became real. It, but when we say real, also the struggle for dominance yeah, it's is real. More serious, like, yeah. like oh, this is going to be like you're actually trying to embarrass me situation. Yeah. <laughs> The dominance is always real. Yeah. Yeah. Here he comes in. What? This is like Kevin from the Mother <laughs> Fights. It's too, too exciting. exciting. <laughs> Look at him kind of like purge himself when yeah, he's coming yeah. back in. Oh, he stuck that kick. That's, that's oh, and then to the body. And in this fight, you, he realizes the Sirat. The only thing to really fear from him is his right hand or his right elbow. So he starts to decode it. <laughs> if he can start to feel safe, here he is. Oh, look at the mess with his lead hand. See that right coming over? He's not bouncing out as far anymore. Yeah. Look at his lead hand messing with that lead guard. And then he lands oh. the right hand over the hand. No, 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 no. The way he comes in like this and he's very still, this is such a like pissing contest thing. It's just like, are you going to let me stand here? And he does. And so he just kind of yes. like sets up. This is the key. Once he can set up I close. I he was going to what? Why? He backs off. But he keeps, he oh. just did that uh, somehow elbow right there. Oh, inside the guard? Inside the right. It's like this, that boiling frog thing where it just gets closer and closer and closer and sets up closer. And then he has that power where he can just like unload it as a camera. He's a very weird but it's part of his rhythm. He would bounce straight back after He's like pacing this is a really interesting round because he's actually already established dominance. Now he's fighting backwards. Look at him, he's messy. He's like shimmy. Yeah. I think there's like a thing where he like rolls his way. Yeah, 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 but not the full counts, but just like to show his relaxation. It's amazing to see like the story of the narrative in three rounds. Like, it's just fully. Yep, see, that's it. This is so beautiful though. Three rounds. The silhouette of him seems so amazing. I think these were each three minutes. And in this one, I have a lot of So here I gave a little explanation of uh, the talk I had with uh, Wong Chinoy, and he sent me his training video. And you can see just kind of like 
the silhouette test is what we call it, but you look at it for four seconds and you know you're looking at Wong Chun. That fraction right here is just really beautiful. And look at how he maintains his distance in pad work where you don't really have anything coming back at you, so he's not like bouncing out to the degree he was in the fight. But you can see how he maintains distance, like how he stays in that little pocket with his weapons. Yeah. And I like watching his uh, rhythms, like I like seeing his pace. Yeah. He doesn't rush. Like one of the things that uh, when I work with him for the Muay Library, one of the things I feel from him all the time in the way that he paces the pad work that he puts me through, it's relentless, like it just keeps going, but it's never rushed. It's very like, mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can that see metronome. That. I feel like that's what he's working on in this pad work, is his, is his metronome. Even at 57.